In this video, I'll show you how to crochet these pretty balls. All we need for this project is yarn in the color of our choice with a matching crochet hook, scissors, a wool needle and some filling material. The links to the components of my balls and a text tutorial can be found on my website. We start with a magic circle. In my channel you will also find videos on the basics of crocheting. Chain 1 follows. Now we crochet 6 single crochet in this circle. 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Now we pull on this short thread end until the circle has completely closed. We crochet now in spiral rounds, that means we do not end the rounds with a slip stitch. If you want, you can set a lap marker at this point. We start by doubling each stitch, that means we crochet two single crochet into each of these six stitches. One and two three and four five and six Seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve. In round 3 we double every second stitch. We crochet 1 single crochet into the first stitch and 2 single crochet into the second stitch. So 1 and then 2 single crochet in the next stitch. 2 and 3. In the next stitch again only one single crochet and in the following stitch again two. Four. Five. And six. In this algorithm we crochet until we arrive at 18 stitches. Seventeen and eighteen. In the fourth round, we double every third stitch. We crochet two single crochet in the first two stitches and in the third stitch, two single crochet. One, two, 
two. Three and four. Repeat from the beginning until we arrive at 24. If your balls are going to get bigger, then you can increase them by keeping that round principle and putting one more stitch per round between the doublings. That means in the fifth round it would be three single crochet and the doublings in the fourth stitch. In the sixth round the doubles would be in the fifth stitch and so on. I'm not going to duplicate anymore at this point to explain the principle to you. We arrived on lap 4 and had a number of 24 stitches. So that the ball looks like a ball later on, we crochet the stomach, so to speak. For this we multiply the roundness with the number of stitches. In my case that's 4 rounds and 24 stitches. So we are crocheting now 96 single crochet. We have now crocheted 96 single crochet and are starting to crochet the circle backwards, so to speak. We crochet alternately two single crochet and the third and fourth stitches are crocheted together to form one single crochet. So one and two. And now the third and fourth stitch together because we have increased four rounds. For five rounds there would be three single crochet in this case and the fourth and fifth stitch together and so on. So now the third and fourth stitch together to a single crochet. And the whole thing from the beginning again. We start with two single crochet. The next two stitches together into one single crochet. We continue alternating until we arrive at the number of 18. Two more together, 18. So that the hole at the top is not too narrow, we now stuff the ball with filling cotton. Since we just crocheted the third and fourth stitch together in the round before, we now crochet the second and third stitch together. That means we are now crocheting a normal stitch and the next two stitches together into one single crochet. Once again a single crochet. And two together.
Continue alternately until we arrive at 12 stitches. And 12. If you want, you can now stuff even more filling material. In the last round, we crocheted always two stitches together to one single crochet. One. Two, three, four, five. And six. At this point we can now pull out the thread and cut it off. Now we pull the thread on a wool needle and sew the hole up here a bit. In the end we do a knot. We hide the thread inside the ball. Cut off the rest and you are done. More great instructions in video and text can also be found on my page.